In answer to a question, here is a short video on how to bounce in place uh, track stacks or buses in Logic Pro. So you create the bus, and what's important is that the bus must have its track in arrangement. If you do a track stack, this is the easiest way to create the bus uh, at the same time as a track in the arrangement. And as you see, each channel will be routed to bus number one, that you can name, of course, as with every other uh, bus generation, but also it could be uh, any kind of bus, for example, ascend. If this is ascend, you see, you can then just control click here and create track. And it will be in a track in your arrangement. So to bounce it, it needs to be a track on your arrangement. Uh, So now we have this bus track or aux track, uh, and we need to generate and bounce in place uh, this section. So what you do is you need to choose the pencil tool, and then you just draw the region with the length that you need. And then you go and bounce and place that region. Uh, depending on your needs, you can include tail. If you have some processing that like reverbs delays on that bus, you would need to include tail in audio file. And then you bounce the region. And as you see, you have here the, the stereo bounce of these channels. Here you may notice one thing that's important. You see that this first note was not bounced because it's MIDI. So to be able to capture all the notes, which we will do now, it will be undo. And then you need to go just a bit further. So, so that MIDI can catch up with the first note uh, before it starts bouncing the the bus. This is because because there is a certain latency with bus processing. And you see now you have the first note also here. Uh, and I hope this helps.